So this mission is pretty hefty. It's exploration with a huge learning curve, being culture, society, technology and government. Plus, being among the inhabitants will give us a chance to build solid relationships with them. <laughs> you don't need to raise your hand, Sai. <laughs> just, just for clarification, you do know that we're going to go through a wormhole without knowing what's on the other side, right? <sighs> I know that. You should also remember that the Academy has done countless tests that cleared Orion's gate for space oh, travel. Oh, I know, I know. It's just that these tests were purely atmospheric. Besides, we don't know how Orion's gate will affect That's us. That's if it affects us at all. Well, the stats do add up. I mean, the likelihood of us experiencing any changes to our bodies is possible, yet not so likely. But that's what the extra enzymes are for. So, that's a possibility? I thought we were supposed to remain optimistic about this mission. We're going where no man or woman has gone before! Look guys, we all know the risks, and we still signed up for the job. So suit up, it's time to get going. Is everything good over there, Sai? We're good to go. Carlin, are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. T minus 30 seconds till quantum leap. I guess it's now or never. <sighs> As if. Ain't no chance of backing out now. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, one. Auxiliary power restored. Mains power restored. All systems are operational. The Starship Terran is now online. Oh, my head. Make it stop. Please, make it stop. What the? Where am I? Who are these people? I don't remember any of this. What is this? And who am I? <coughs> hey, 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 it's okay, Kira. It's okay. Everything is okay. Oh my God. What? What the, the hell just happened? I don't know. I, I can't hear anything out of the ordinary. Well, you're the one who should know this ship inside out. From what I can see, everything still seems to be in perfect working order. Except that. What the hell? Did you know that there was another pod laying around? Nah. -huh. If there was, Control would have told us about it, right? Hmm. Like Control ever told us the whole story about anything to do with this. Kira, are you okay? I think... Oh jeez, I think I'm gonna hurl. Come on then, I'll take you to the med bay. Oh god, Jesus, that was gross. I hate throwing up. I know, I'm just glad we got you here in time. Here, drink this. <laughs> no, not this stuff again. I hate this stuff. Come on, soldier, just drink up. It'll make you feel better. Weird about that extra pod though, right? You know, we should probably go check that out. Yeah, we probably should. I'm sorry about almost throwing up on you. That would have been gross. <laughs> That's okay. Just be glad I have reflexes of a cat. No laughing. <laughs> Welcome aboard the Terum, a starship tasked with the exploration and discovery of interplanetary life forms, societies, governments, and star systems. Huh? Your name is Terra. You are the ship's navigator, internal support and operation specialist. You have also been uniquely tasked with knowing everything there is to know about the vessel, from internal and emergency procedures to system analysis as well as the medical status of the ship's crew. What? Who is this? Who are you? Why can't I communicate with you, but cannot speak? Please be still for a second. 
Please proceed to the Med Bay for assistance. Well, everything seems to be functioning properly. And how can you tell just by looking at the place? Do you have some magical connection to the ship? I guess you could say... What is it this time? Someone's been in here already. And how do you know that? Because nobody accessed crew information. We've got to check this out. Wait, shouldn't we get Gallen and Ari before we do this? I mean, Gallen is the captain after all. Gallen can captain up later. We don't have time for this. We don't even know who was in the other pod or how they got here. Even more reason to have him and Ari there with us when we find this mystery person? Fine. Let's go get them. Tell me, what did you do to me? I had to sedate you while I completed the process of healing. Especially your eyes, ears, vocal cords, and other necessary bodily functions. You were asleep for a long while, Terra. How much longer until I feel better? You should start to feel better in around 30 minutes once you take these lozenges. Now, if you would like to return to the bridge, we can continue our prior conversation. Thank you. What do I call you? Spaceship? You can call me Terra. That would be fine. Hmm. Terra. And Terran. Our names sound kind of similar. That must mean we will be the best of friends. Yeah, maybe it does. Thank goodness you guys are alright. I kind of feel a bit woozy in my head though. You're not gonna throw up, are you? I don't think so. Thank God. What's going on, Sai? You look like you're gonna have a heart attack. Did you guys happen to notice a fifth pod in the chamber? Yeah, we did, but I don't remember a fifth crew member. Mm, that's because there wasn't? Oh, thank you. It wasn't just me. At least I know I'm not going crazy. Where were you guys heading? When we were on the bridge just before, Sai noticed that someone had accessed some crew information and ended up going to the med bay. Well, let's go meet this mystery person. See, even Gallant says it's a mystery person. <laughs> Shut up. Are you feeling better now? I think I am. Thank you for that. You're very welcome, Terra. I thought I heard you talking to someone. Am I not good enough for you anymore? Our platonic relationship hasn't changed since I last spoke to you, Sai. Let's hope not. Just because you're an AI, I don't think you can lie to us. So, um... Who are you? I'm, um... Terra. This is Terra. She is the ship's navigator, internal support and operations specialist. I don't think they'll need to hear all of that right now. <clears throat> so, Terra, how'd you manage to board our ship? I... I don't know. I woke up in the metal thingy and saw the four of you sleeping in that room. You what? I didn't know what to do, so I left you all and went to the bridge. That's where I met Terra. She oh. means me. I know who she's talking about. Take it easy on her, Sai. You too, Gallon. Why, Ari? You don't know who this girl is. And to make matters worse, she's a yeah. stowaway. Stowaway. Still, that doesn't mean you have to be so hard on her. Look at her, she's scared. She doesn't know where she is. Yeah, I'm with Ari on this one. Even though this whole situation is as surprising as being lost in space, the sister's got a point. We need to take it easy on this terror. And going all Starsky and Hutch isn't going to help us get to know her any better. Okay, fine. You girls can do all the talking. Hopefully she'll open up and give us some more answers. Hi Tara, my name's Ari. This is Kira, Sai, and our Captain Garland. We didn't want to scare you or anything, we just want to know how you got here, since none of us remember you being on the ship when we left Earth. You left Earth? Yeah, it's been about six months since we started this trip. Oh, you can make it sound like you didn't know. Like I said, the last thing I remember is waking up in that chamber. Oh my god, you're amnesic? What do you mean? Something must have happened to your memory during transit. Is that even possible? I'm no doctor, but maybe that could be the case. Space travel, from what I know, can sometimes have dizzying effects on the mind. It's not like flying an aircraft on Earth. Wow. Are you sure you're our pilot and not a I medic? I don't know anymore. Who would know then? Terran would know, I think. Excuse me? 
The ship, Tarim. If there's anyone who knows about me, it'll probably be him. Tara is actually correct. Hmm, you thought this shit was a girl. <sighs> I'm sure I could look into my backlogs of crew history if that would help. That would actually be great, Tarim. I can't believe I'm talking to this thing. Alright, if you'll head to the bridge, I can explain everything there. So you really don't have any memories of where you were before you woke up on the ship? I don't remember a thing, until a few moments ago. I didn't even know how to talk. But I could somehow communicate with Terran. Did you just say you can communicate with our ship? Uh, yeah. I do believe she just said that, Sai. Well, he even knows your name, bud. And how do you know that you could do that? I didn't. It just happened. Uh, guys, I don't think that's the only thing we've got to deal with right now. Oh, please don't tell me we have more surprises. Because right now I can't handle any more. No offence. I don't know what that means. It means she wasn't being nasty to you. Oh, okay. Great. We'll just add this to the bunch of mysteries that seem to be piling up. Hey, you were the one who was all for the mission in the beginning, right? I didn't know the mission was going to end up like this.